back to my channel. In this video, I will be cleaning a Smith & Wesson 357 Magnum Revolver. Specifically, this is the model 686 Plus. It has a cylinder for seven rounds as opposed to uh, usually six. This is the uh, 686, I guess, plus. It is stainless steel. One of the challenges to cleaning this is that it is stainless steel, it is a revolver, and you can see all that carbon um, built up. Well, it's not coming off on my finger. It's very hard to get off. And I have a couple of tricks to getting all the carbon out of here. You know, right where the bullet, you know, jumps the cylinder to the forcing cone, there's a lot of gases and therefore a lot of carbon um, buildup. That could be a little difficult to get out. So, let's go ahead and start cleaning. The first thing I'm going to do is get my Ops number 9 out. I'm going to keep a big bottle of this, I like it. And attach a mop. The rod and soak it in number nine. And what we'll do is go ahead and run this down. It's good to do this over a garbage can if you can. And then so uh, go ahead and soak each hole in the cylinder. In this case, there's seven. Bit number nine. And also do the barrel. Be careful um, of the crown of your barrel. You don't want to scratch it up. So just take a little care if you're going to go cleaning from this end. Usually with most handguns, you want to try to go from the chamber out but um, if you're careful you could do it this way too so you want to go ahead and soak it and let it sit we're also gonna go ahead and make sure that we wet the top of the cylinder here where a lot of it's built up Get in here. Around the forcing cone. I'm gonna get that all wet. Alright. It doesn't hurt to let it sit. It doesn't hurt to have a paper towel. Next thing is a nylon brush. I'm not a big fan of brass brushes. Go ahead and work on the area with the forcing cone. I'm really all around in here. I'm going to work on getting the carbon, dirt, gunpowder, everything out of there. Whoops. See, it's already starting to come off. May have to add a little more number nine to the area. There's a lot in there. A lot of carbon buildup right in this area. That's the hardest part in a revolver. Again, I use a nylon brush much as possible and if you end up with some areas where it's just not enough then go ahead and progress up to a brass but only use as much abrasive products that's needed or required to take care of the task so you don't wear things out and then I'm 
just sort of touch on it with a brush, brush just a little bit. And because I only have 10 minutes, I am going to uh, truncate this part, but to get the idea of um, cleaning this area until you get all the carbon out of there. Okay, now once we're done um, scrubbing all in the area of the frame where the cylinder resides, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe out all the dirt with a paper towel. And it's looking pretty good in there. Got just about all the carbon out. And the next hardest area to clean is right here on the top of your cylinder. So we'll go ahead and you know utilize the same method. Go ahead and you know get it wet with the hops number nine. Let it sit. The chemical do the work. And again you could try with a nylon brush if it doesn't get too far use a, um, a brass brush see if that works any better but there's another way to get this really hard area of a cylinder clean so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to show you how to do that I'm just going to wipe off the number nine real quick just show you what this looks like right now. I don't know if you can see, but there there's a lot of black there. Get this uh, Birchwood Casey lead removing and polishing cloth. And it's sort of like a yellow um, impregnated cloth of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what's on here basically does an outstanding job removing these black marks the carbon and I don't know if, I, if you're going to be able to see that but we have a real clean shiny spot right there if I turn it around you can see how black that area is compared to what I just brushed and that only took a minute you know just a couple of seconds so I could go around the whole top of this cylinder here and without the harsh chemicals and without the harsh scrubbing of a of a metal brass brush I can remove all this and most people don't even go to this extent but I'm kind of picky about my handguns so I go through the trouble look how bad that looks this is one of the best cloths of any kind that I've ever bought I'd be working all day trying to get this off using a, a normal brush harsh chemicals of all sorts and all you have to do is just wipe it with this. It takes about a minute to go around the whole top of the cylinder. And look at that. It's just like new. Actually, it's better than new. Clean as a whistle. It's a little hard to get all the way in here. So I'm going to go ahead and touch this up. And then we'll move on to the next part of how I clean this revolver.